Now let's look at the continuity of a function. So informally, what continuity of a function means? If you have a function like this, okay, and if you are looking at it at a point, now we say that at this point it is continuous. If we don't have a hole there, which means if you don't, if you have a hole there, then it is not actually continuous. Even if by looking at it, you can find it out, isn't it? Or if a function is suddenly jumping at a point like this from here it suddenly jumped here right now it, it means that at that point it is not continuous right or sometimes the function has just ended there then it is not continuous at that point or a function has just begun there then it is not continuous right so what continuous is now when you are looking at it at a point it should have exactly the same value if you look at it a point to the left of it and if you look at it a point to the right of it right if it does if it is not so then it means that there is some irregularity which means it is not smooth right if it is smooth then generally you are going to see that both the sides at that point it is going to have the same values right so a function is said to be continuous at a point if it is going to be continuous and it is not going to have any hole or a cut or any jump like this that is informal definition now let's look at formally how to you know define it a function f of x is said to be continuous at x equal to a if limit extends to a f of x equal to f of a so what they are trying to say is now let us say this is f of x this is the function we are talking about and now we are talking about a point a at x equal to a we want to see what would have what will have to, what is this function whether it is continuous or not continuous now they are saying that you find out the value of this point which is nothing but f of a right now limit extends to a f of a means as x approaches a which means it is close to a not a right either from left side or right side as we approach a we should have the same value f of a which means if that point is having some value both to the left of it and to the right of it and at that point and all these three values are actually same then they are saying that it is continuous according to the formal definition right as we approach a it should have the same value as what it had at a got it okay now this is one way that is one way of saying it other way of saying it is left hand limit is equal to right hand limit equal to value of the function at x equal to a same thing so either you take the left side of it or to the right side of it or at that point see when i say left side of it it is just you know you have to move it a small fraction to the left a small fraction to the right and check its value okay so this is also written like this limit extends to a a minus a plus left hand limit right hand limit if both of them are equal to f of a then we can say that it is continuous now if a function f is not continuous at x equal to a we say f of x is discontinuous which means if these properties fail then we can say that it is discontinuous at x equal to a and again we are going to talk about continuity or discontinuity given the function and a point right we are not going to say that a function is continuous or discontinuous without that point got it so here we are talking about continuity or discontinuity at the point a and next one is f of x will be discontinued at x equal to a if left hand limit is not equal to right hand limit which means if the left side i have some value and the right side if i have some value if both are not equal then i can say that it is not continuous which means discontinuous or if left hand limit is equal to right hand limit but it is not equal to the value at a right or if f of a is not defined which means it can be either 0 by 0 or infinity by infinity in that case also it is not continuous or at least one of the limit does not exist which means either left, left hand limit or right hand limit or the limit doesn't exist if that is the case also it is discontinuous which means if any of these four conditions hold either this one or this one or this one or this one you can say that it is discontinuous okay fine Hi. if you are planning to do masters then doing masters abroad is better than doing masters in india i'll give you all the reasons so first reason is out of one lakh students who take gate every year there are only 500 seats in old iits so all the iits put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5 percent and iits 
universities better than IITs. They have very good acceptance rate, like 30 percent, 40 percent. But all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5 percent. And if you are working hard to get into IIT Bombay, IIT Bombay's ranking is 177, and IIT Roorkee's ranking is 400. If you are happy to get into IIT Roorkee, then getting into universities better than IIT Roorkee is easier compared to getting into IIT Roorkee. And looking at the salaries for computer science, of, uh, for software jobs, if you have done your master's in computer science in US, the salaries are ranging from 80 lakhs per year to 1.2 crore per year. So even if you take an average of 1 crore per year, your savings will be much higher than the salaries in India. After taxes and your cost of living, you can easily save 40 to 50 lakhs uh, per year. And in India, the maximum jobs that you get is around 30 lakhs. So your savings will be much greater than the salaries in India. And these are all the services that we provide. University shortlisting. So depending on your profile, we will shortlist what are the universities that you have to apply. And statement of purpose building. And then LOR guidance. And GRE and English test assistance. And education loan assistance. So you don't have to have any collateral, which, which means without any security, now you can get education loan. Getting education loan is very simple these days. And whatever the amount fee, the amount of uh, fee that you have, you have a range of uh, universities. You can apply for 10 lakh universities, 20 lakh universities or 50 lakh universities. But whatever it is, you are going to get complete education loan and you can pay off your education loan in one year after you, getting a, after you get a job. And then we do visa assistance, mock visa interviews, and then connecting with the university alumni. So now you might ask why we should join Game of Visas. So the answer is we have 90% success rate, 99% success rate. And these are all the destinations that we guide the students to. So we guide students to any country that you want to go. So now it is not just USA. We guide to UK, Germany, Australia, Canada. So we guide we guide students to all the countries. We work with all the destinations. And if you are interested in going abroad, you have to just drop us a message on this WhatsApp number 9494 Okay, thank you.